In this video, we will conduct a search in the Academic Search Complete database. And because database interfaces are similar, once you learn how to search in one, it will be similar to searching in others. So let's start with our research question. Is there a link between vaccines and autism? Let's type that question in the search box. As you can see, this yields zero results. That's because databases do not understand natural language. They are designed to recognize keywords. What are keywords, you ask? Keywords are subject matter words that describe the most relevant words of your topic. First, determine your search strategy. Write out your research question. What question are you trying to answer? and determine your search keywords. Use between two to four keywords. Try them out first and try them in at least three databases. Brainstorm for synonyms, related terms, terms that are too broad or terms that are too narrow. Once you've done that, as you enter your keywords, use Boolean operators and or a not between your keywords. What are Boolean operators, you say? Boolean operators are used to connect and define the relationship between your keyword. And tells the database to look for results that contain both words. Or tells the database to treat the words as synonyms and find results that contain either word. Not will a will eliminate the second term from the first term, meaning find this term, but not this one. So let's type in the search box, vaccines and autism. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to find articles that contain both words. And as you can see, over a thousand results came up. Everything from journal articles, news articles, and videos. Since Academic Search Complete is an EBSCO database, we can search several other EBSCO databases at one time. Go right above your search box and click Choose Databases. As you can see, a whole list of databases appears. And right next to each database is a note that gives you a brief description as to what each database searches for. So since vaccines and autism is a health issue, let's try to find some health databases. Uh, Sinal Complete is a nursing database. Sinal Plus with full text is a nursing database. Uh, Consumer Health Complete deals with health issues. Uh, here's Health Source. Health Source for nor Nursing Academic Edition. Uh, Medline is another one. Now let's, since it's vaccines and, and autism, let's, let's do science and science, uh, science reference center and maybe science reference center ebook also. And now we can press OK. And if you click here on the show all, if you hover your cursor over that, it will show you all of the databases that you are searching at one time. Now let's click the search button. Now, as you can see, our results went up to over 3,000 results. On the left side of the screen, I can further refine my results. Uh, let's click full text. Full text means that I only want my results to show where the full article is available, not just summaries, but the full article. And let's also click 
peer-reviewed. Peer-reviewed is very important because it means only articles that have been written and reviewed by experts before they were approved for publishing will appear in your results. And publication date is important as well. It's important to ensure that maybe you only get the most timely results and that you don't get stuff that's outdated. So, you know, if I only want results within the last, you know, 10 years, I can update that and that will go up. And as you can see, our results went down to 511. You can also play with your publication dates by moving the bar back and forwards as well. I'll go back to 2009. The left side of the screen also shows source types. Uh, journals, academic journals, reviews, trade publications. You can also click on that to see what other results you got as well. And there's also even further results if you want to further refined by language or by publisher or whatever but we'll leave it like it is for now so as you see now we have 511 results let's look at our first result here it gives us the title of the article right here gives you the name uh, the author's name the name of the journal the date and it also tells you which database it found the article in. But this one says Full Text Finder or Request Through Interlibrary Loan. Full Text Finder means that the database knows the article is available, but it does not have a copy of the article. So Full Text Finder will try to locate databases that do provide links. So let's click there. That says we can view this full text article in Sage. And here is the full article. Now, if there is no article available, or maybe you want this article, you can click Request Through Interlibrary Loan. This link will take you to the form to complete for interlibrary loan requests. If you're a faculty or staff, you would click here. If you're a Francis Marion student, you would click here. Since I'm faculty, I would click here. You would sign in using your username and password, the same username and password that you sign in to computers on campus. And it takes you to this form to complete. Ensure that all the required fields are completed and submit requests. You will be notified by email when your article is available. It normally takes about 48 hours. Now let's look at result number two. This one says PDF full text. That means the full text of this article is available. So you click on that link. And right here, you can pull up the full text of the article. The right side of the screen over here, let's say you want to keep this article. The right side of the screen, you can save this article in your Google Drive account. Maybe you can print it. You can also even email it to yourself. Just fill out the form here, which email address you want it to go to, and click Send. This one gives you the option to save it in a folder if you like. Let's say you, you want to save the link to this article. Press permalink right here. This is the link that will take you, that you would like to save, that will take you straight to your results. Don't copy the web address in your browser, but the permalink is the link that you want to save if you 
need to leave out of the database and would like to come back. Well, now you know how to search in a database. If you have further questions, please stop by the reference desk or call us at 843-661-1310 for further questions. Happy searching!